The Sun showed exclusive footage of the moment Princess Kate was seen for the first time since surgery. What were your initial thoughts when you saw the video? I think given the rabid rumours that have been on social media um, and the speculation and all the stuff in America, where's Kate, etc., I found these photographs jaw-dropping. Um, I found the body language jaw-dropping. It exceeded any expectations that I think any of us had because we've suddenly got a woman that all of those fears that we've been having about her, she's in the lead. Um, she is wanting to be visible. Her hair's streaming, her, her chin is up. She's looking not just happy to be out, but happy with William as well, um, smiling and chatting with him. Her stride, she was using quite a wide stride when she was walking. She's carrying her own shopping. You know, this this looked high energy, healthy and happy. And what do you think about perhaps um, Princess Kate's choice of clothing as well? Um, do you reckon that perhaps what she was wearing counteracted the negative rumours or perceptions about her health and well-being? I think her outfit, I mean, it, it's the sort of gear that you wear when you're going on long country walks and things like that. It did um, continue from the Mother's Day photographs in a way because there she had the lace-up boots on, um, the zip-up top. It, it wasn't somebody wanting to look passive, um, floral dresses I'm not really up to doing very much I'm quite fragile this looks like somebody that's just gone for a yomp in the countryside so again that's slightly this is that sporty version that we get from Kate when she's competing and and being very active so again very reassuring that this wasn't somebody looking frail and just out for a first walk this is somebody enjoying the energy and and, and looking fit back to fitness again. With how she was walking and she had a smile on her face and her hair was glowing as well, it did come across and she looks very happy and very healthy, doesn't she? Absolutely. And, I, you know, even if you push all of those terrible rumours to one side, I think even those of us that were just reading what we were being told, there was still a feeling that maybe she won't be well again for a long time, that this might be a very ongoing illness, that we'll never, even, we'll never get that Kate back, who always did look so fit and healthy and incredibly happy. And that's why it's so reassuring, because this is it, she is back. Um, and I think that would probably lead to a communal sigh of relief, certainly from her fans, who are legion. <laughs> Most definitely. And what do you think about Kate's body language with her husband, Prince William? Do you reckon that that perhaps conveyed reassurance and dispelled rumours that are circulating on social media? I think it was very emphatic that she wasn't being spoken to and, and responding with smiles. She was instigating. She was looking back over her shoulder. She was smiling. She was chatting. And again, creating this impression of of the happy couple again. I was fascinated by his body language though, because he was showing signs of um, a desire for anonymity. This is how I'd imagine they probably walk around normally, just you know, baseball cap on that A-list celebrity thing that we're out in public, but don't approach us. Um, and she was so contrasting to that. She, she wanted to be seen, she wanted to be visible. And I love that, but that, that made her look more confident than him. Definitely. And we touched on earlier about how um, Princess Kate was leading the way and she was also carrying her own shopping bags as yes. well. Yes. Do you reckon that perhaps Kate made any deliberate actions when she was seen in that video? I'm, I'm fascinated because this is something where we do have to read between the lines. And it is interesting because clearly I've been analysing Kate for many years now. And yes, this might just have been a video that somebody did film surreptitiously and she had no idea the cameras were there. If we pretend that it wasn't, though, if we pretend that it was um, a public statement of intent, um, Yes, I, I would imagine that would be so, that we were seeing 
a bag carrying, sporty looking Kate, gloriously happy with William as a series of messages. Kate does have form as well, and I do have to say this, I've seen Kate in the past before, um, where she has very much been very straight in what are called her denial signals when there have been rumours. And the most important one that I can ever remember, and I was deeply impressed, was when rumours were sleuthing about her and Meghan Markle, that they'd fallen out, that they weren't speaking to one another. And there was that royal appearance on Christmas Day, the walk to church, when we had William and Kate and Meghan and Harry. And Kate, it, it was so elegantly done, but she had such an air of determination. She knew what she wanted to say. She moved across smiling towards Meghan and she then engaged with the cameras right in front of them, um, chatting, talking, oh, look, we're really good friends. Clearly that didn't end well as a denial gesture at the time, but she wanted to make her statement. So she does have form on um, being very direct and very confident in using her body language to get messages across to the rest of the world. Obviously, we've mentioned that the video was the first time we've seen Kate in public since her surgery. Do you reckon that she was perhaps from from her body language conscious of the fact that there might be people out there who are going to perhaps take photos and videos of her and do you think that that perhaps contributed to some of the the way she perhaps held herself and and acted in that video i think it probably did i'm probably comparing it to myself and other women when we go shopping I would love to think that I walk along shopping with my hair streaming, my head up, smiling and chatting and looking absolutely radiant. I think most of us, if we were caught when we were out shopping, it would be with that kind of grim face determination and these bags are really heavy. So it, it looked like a very perfect um, presentation of somebody out shopping. But there again, Kate, Kate's made from different stuff from the rest of us. I'm sure she probably does look so perfect when she's out shopping. But it, it did make me wonder slightly whether there was an awareness of cameras. We'll never know, probably. But um, as I say, most mere mortals probably don't look like that when we're out shopping. Certainly not that wonderful. A lot of the conspiracy theories that have been going online um have obviously been talking about her health and well-being but i guess what this video can show is that you know it she does have her independence and she is capable of carrying her own bag she seems to be very fit and healthy doesn't she yeah and i think i mean okay for most people carrying a bag is not a big deal but you know the actual surgery that was officially described it it could mean that that might not be possible yet. So it was very reassuring to see that it didn't seem to be causing any lasting problems. But also I'm quite surprised that royal, royals carry their own shopping anyway, but clearly they do. But it, it did look like quite an emphatic signal gesture that um, hopefully of, of no lasting effects. It, it, it was a very, cheering appearance and that's not the sort of thing it, it went beyond what she needed to do I mean literally just just walking and appearing or even sitting on a chair probably would have been sufficient but this is so emphatically all round good in terms of signals that she's sending out most definitely and and obviously having William by her side as well definitely uh, would put a lot of the conspiracy theories to bed wouldn't it yeah, they just look happy together. Uh, you know, even though he was uh, trying to keep his head down, we can still see. I mean, William has this big mouth and he does this. When when he's genuinely happy, we see this suppressed smile. He tends to hold the muscles. He puckers the muscles slightly. That looked very familiar to me. It looked like it was that same smile. If people are going out doing a forced denial appearance, and we've seen it from everybody from politicians to celebrities, etc. They normally perform a very rigid, cheesy, we've got to do this smile. But that just looked like William's natural smile that I could see under that cap. And the way that she was throwing him, it's that slightly playful glance that she's always thrown him. It, 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 it was very much what they normally do. And, and again, that's that's cheering. It didn't look as though 
we have got to look happy for the cameras. It just looked like them being themselves. Most definitely. And what insights can we gain, do you think, from analysing Princess Kate's body language in the video, perhaps about her mindset and her approach to handling public attention and criticism? I would very much like to think, I think with Kate, because um, she's always been a little bit of a silent movie star for many, many years. And I think we saw her, for again, for many years doing this um, very regal smile that was incredible because it was flawless and she could sustain it for long periods of time. And she didn't do emotional displays. Um, I think that both William and Kate were very determined after that horrendous soap opera that happened to his mother, that they would never be too giving in terms of their body language. So we had no soap opera. Having followed them for years, I don't remember seeing anything in the way of a cross look, or maybe a tiny hint, but you'd really have to look for it. Um, she just always looked perfect and, and perfectly happy. I think more recently we've seen more emotional displays, but they have been very positive. She, she's allowed herself to go from that perfect smile to a kind of nose wrinkling, um, amused smile. She's often seen laughing. Uh, so it's all been moved in a positive direction. It's not been moodiness or sulking or um, looking anxious or anything. So I like to think that beneath that kind of perfect princess thing, there is a very confident um, and quite powerful woman uh, who is making, hopefully, a lot of decisions. She seems to me to have taken almost like the female lead role in the royal family. Um, I don't think Camilla is particularly somebody that likes the spotlight or particularly to take the lead in public anyway. And Kate is presenting now as a very matriarchal leader um, in a similar way to the late Queen. Um, and I like to see that. I think she's a lot stronger than we think she is. I think she's probably, it looks here the way that she's taking the lead in, in the way that they're walking, as though this is my statement, my decision. He's got the baseball cap on, but I'm facing up to the cameras. So I think ongoing, that could be a very, very good thing for the royal family.